It's a simple truth, a simple life. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, your mind. When it comes to loving everyone else, love your neighbor just like you love yourself.
Let's go deeper. Take a second, cause we all need Jesus. You ain't alone, man. We all got a reason to call on him in all different seasons. It's hard to find someone you can really trust. Harder to find someone with unconditional love. It's a two in one with our Father from up above. So we don't gotta worry, he will always be in our face. Just 
guys. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you for giving us a day that we can worship you, Lord, and I thank you for bringing us here, Lord. I pray for these kids, Lord, that they would listen to this message and it would speak something to them and they would be able to show Jesus to everyone around them. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, guys. Let's do your key verse. Psalms 55, 7. Morning, noon, and night, the Lord hears my voice. Let's do it again. Psalms 55, 7. Morning, noon, and night, the Lord hears my voice. Last time, guys. Psalms 55, 7. Morning, noon, and night, the Lord hears my voice. Great job, everyone. Hey, iHeartKids, Pastor Q here. I'm so excited to be able to share today's session with you. I have so much fun spending time with you guys on Sunday mornings. Today, I really wanted to just take a second and talk about being thankful. There are a lot of things you and I can be thankful for. Think of some things that you could be thankful for. Let's think about it. family. Thankful for our parents, our brothers and sisters, our grandparents, aunts and uncles. Hey, what about friends, classmates, neighbors, and food? I'm always thankful for food. Cookies and candy and ice cream and, oh yeah, I should probably get back to something serious. Um, I'm thankful for Jesus, honestly. And any time that we see in scripture that we're thankful, we're supposed to be prayerful, to pray a prayer of thanks for the things that we're thankful for. But I don't even always know what that looks like. I'm not even sure how to do that all the time. Are you? Let's check in with the guys at Connect HQ. Maybe they can help us out. Hey everyone, welcome back to Connect HQ's 24th annual Prayerathon. I'm Dot. And I'm Jake. We're taking over for Tony and Alyssa. It's been a great year so far, don't you think? It really has. Kids from all over the world have been calling in with their prayer requests and our qualified volunteers have been praying for them nonstop. We're really seeing God at work here, people. No matter the size of your prayer request, don't be afraid to call in. We pray for little prayer requests, huge prayer requests, and every size prayer request in between. All you have to do is call 1-800-555. I know this is a phone, but I have no idea how it works. A little help here? Hello? We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. I'm Jake, mm -hmm. and this is the time we all learn sure. about talking to God. We'd be happy to. Thanks. Well, Captain Ray asked us whether we would be interested in answering some prayer questions on air. And you said yes? Do we even know enough about prayer to answer people's questions? Come on, Jake. This is the easy job. We answer a few questions, and we're done. All right. Three questions, that's it. See, this will be a piece of cake. All right, all right, 15 minute break then, it's back to the prayer-a-thon. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. this looks so good. These aren't just for me. These are for everyone. I need to be self-controlled. I'm gonna need to ask for help. It's like my friend's Nana always says. When I pray at night or during the day, God is listening to what I say. Hey, it's me again. I really wanna eat all these snacks, but I know they are for everyone. 
So please help me be self-controlled with what I eat today. I can try. All right, we have our first three prayer questions. Jake, are you ready to get started? Let's do it. Okay. Question one, how does God talk to us? That's a good question. That's a great question. So, uh, oh, I know this. <sighs> Thank goodness. God talks to us in all sorts of ways, like through his words in the Bible, worship songs, or the words of a godly friend. I learned this back when Luke was still here, when I wished my faith was bigger. I'll tell you what happened. I wish I had faith like that. We all do. It takes big faith to trust that God will give us what we need when we need it. It takes big faith to treat everyone the way we treat our family and our friends. Big faith is something that comes over time. How do I get big faith? Share what you believe, share what you've been given, and pray for big faith. Okay, let's do it now. All right. Bow your head. God, I want big faith. I want to treat everyone in need. People with houses, people without. Just like they were friends I haven't met yet. I want to give time, money, whatever it takes to help. Help everyone. Amen. Amen. See, God spoke to me through Luke. He taught me how to pray for faith and act more like Jesus. That's awesome. It's so neat that God can speak to us in so many different ways. Thanks for answering our first question, Dot. Of course. See, Jake, what did I tell you? Answering these questions is going to be easy. Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> no need to yell. Who, 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 who are you? You know who I am, Mike. I... I... I, th I, th I thought I did. You need to save some of those snacks for me. Wait, you... you eat snacks? Well, sure. Is there any divinity down there? I love that stuff. This conversation is a lot stranger than the ones we usually have. Next up, question two. Praying seems so complicated. Is talking to God as hard as it seems? Oh, I can answer this one. Take it away, Jake. Praying used to make me nervous, especially praying out loud. Fortunately, my friend Alyssa taught me that praying is actually really simple. God? God? How are you today? How are you today? I want to thank you for all the blessings you give us. I want to thank you for all the blessings you give us. I'm here to pray for my friend, Jake. I'm here to pray for my, for me. When he doesn't have courage to pray out loud, give it to him. Give me courage, God. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Prayers don't have to be poetic or perfect. They don't even have to be a certain length. It's just a conversation between you and the God that created you, who loves you so much. When you put it that way, it's pretty awesome that we can just talk to God whenever we want, in any place, at any time. See, praying isn't hard, and we can talk to God anytime, any place, and about anything. We can praise Him for who He is, thank Him for what He's done, and tell Him what's on our minds. Hey, you know what? I have a great verse to go along with this answer. Want to help me teach it? Sure thing. Okay. It's from the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 17. It goes like this. Psalm 55, 17. Psalm 55, 17. Morning, noon, and night. Morning, noon, and night. The Lord hears my voice. The Lord hears my voice. The next time you think that prayer seems too hard or that it isn't the right time to pray, or that God isn't interested in what you have to say, remember this verse. God always wants to hear from you. Thanks, Dot. No, thank you, Jake. Great job answering question two. Mm, but the 
these snacks look so good. What if, hear me out, I eat them all and then go to the store and get more snacks than everybody has snacks? That works for me. Hey now, that's not the answer you're supposed to give. You told me you were gonna help me be self-controlled. Oh right, I did, didn't I? My mistake. Are you ready for question three, Dot? Am I ever? Let's see. Why isn't God answering my prayer? And do I need to keep praying, especially since he's God and already knows everything? Any idea how to answer this one? I don't have a clue. Uh, right. Great question. We'll get right to it after this commercial break. Do we take commercial breaks? We do now. You know, I'm starting to have serious doubts about you. You don't need to doubt me. Oh, I beg to differ. This is not how praying's supposed to work. Praying? What are you talking about? I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is how praying's supposed to work. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. is alive. During Jesus' time on earth, he prayed a lot. He knew that prayer would keep him close to God, his Father. Sometimes Jesus would pray with others, like when he asked Peter, James, and John to come with him to a mountain to pray. Other times, Jesus would leave his disciples and pray by himself so he would have time alone with his Father. When Jesus prayed, he prayed for all sorts of things. He prayed for his disciples, for those in need of healing, and for little children. Jesus even prayed for us and asked his Father to watch over us. That's right, Jesus prayed for you and for me. Through Jesus' prayers, we can learn how to pray too. Jesus used the Lord's Prayer to teach his disciples to pray. It wasn't long and fancy. He showed them that they could pray in a simple way about many different things. Our prayers can be the same way. Jesus also taught us that we should pray without giving up. God is always listening to what we say. The way He answers our prayers might be different from what we expect, but we can always trust His plan for us. So the next time you're happy or sad, or worried or angry, or just need help, Talk to God about it. He listened to his son's prayers, and he'll listen to yours too. See, Jesus showed us how prayer is supposed to work. It's supposed to be a conversation between us and our loving Father. He would never tell us to pig out on snacks. What do you have to say for yourself, God? Huh? What? Are you serious? I'm not God. Then who are you? And where is this voice coming from? Huh. I heard rumors about Connect HQ's old intercom system, but I thought they were just myths. We have an intercom system? It's probably controlled in the hub. If you'll excuse me. Hey, wait up. Jake and I need your help answering a question. Mike, you didn't really think I was God, did you? <laughs> no. That would have been pretty funny. <sighs> what are you doing with this old mic anyways? Well, Maurice was showing me how an old intercom system worked. So, whenever he went to go help with the prayers on, I thought I would mess around with it a bit. And then you heard me in the lounge asking for help with the snacks. Yep, I thought I could help you from here. Mike! Would you stop moving? We need your help. I'm gonna need my inhaler. <sighs> I'm sorry, what can I help you guys with? 
Jake and I are answering questions for the prayer-a-thon, and someone asked us why God isn't answering their prayer. And whether they need to keep praying since God already knows everything. Actually... We can both help you. Do you want to tell a story, or should I? So you're ready to give up praying? I want to put it that way. I'm just ready to be done praying for the same thing over and over. Then what are you praying for? For my friend, Josh, to go to church with me. Oh, that's such a good prayer, Claire. I pray for my friends, too. No, I don't think you understand. I've been praying this prayer for, like, forever, and he still wouldn't come to church with me. Oh, so it's a big request, then. My prayer isn't working, and I'm wondering when I'll be done. You know, you have a lot of courage. I do? It takes a lot of courage to pray a big prayer like that. I guess it really does. But it also takes a lot of courage to wait on God after you pray and to keep praying, waiting, and trusting in God. God always listens to our prayers and answers them, even if he doesn't always answer them in the way we expect. But we can trust that no matter what happens, God's gonna do what's best for all of us. And yeah, God knows everything, but he still wants to have a really good relationship with us. Whenever we tell him what's on our hearts, it makes him feel really happy. And praying teaches us how to depend on him. Guys, that's the best answer ever. Thank you so much. Really? Come on, Jake. Let's get back to the prayer thon. So, you're going to teach me how to use the old intercom system, right? Only if you make sure you use self control. Mm -hmm. Oh, I promise to use my powers for good. I didn't like the way that you said that. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Dot and this is Jake. We're part of Connect HQ. Dot taught me a Bible verse today and I'd like to share it with you. Say it with me like this. Psalm 55, 17. Morning, noon, and night, the Lord hears my voice. No matter when we pray, where you pray, or how you pray, God hears us and he wants to hear from us. Isn't that amazing? Not only that, but Jesus gave us the best example of what our prayers should be like. When we follow his lead, we can be sure God will listen to what we have to say. It's normal to have questions about prayer. You're talking with the God who's created the universe after all. So don't be afraid to ask a trusted adult for answers to your questions about prayer. But when it comes to prayer, this is what you don't wanna forget. When I pray at night or during the day, God is listening to what I say. God will always, always be ready to listen to you. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Those prayer questions didn't stand a chance against us. Best prayer thon ever. Right, Jake? You've got that right. <sighs> oh. Done. Finally. That's it for this year's prayer thon. Today, we learn that God is always listening when we speak to Him. He loves you and is always here to listen to you. Do you want to be friends with God? If so, you can make that choice today. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that decision today? If so, be sure to talk about it with your parents or a leader you trust. Hey, our kids. The folks over at Connect HQ always find a way to help us out. They make our life so much better. A little sidebar, actually, Jake and I look a whole lot alike. Well, not me today, the way that I looked when I was a kid. Maybe you can see the resemblance. Honestly though, isn't it great to know that when we pray to God in the day or in the night, he hears what we have to say. It doesn't make any difference. Anytime that we go to God in prayer, he listens to us. He wants to hear from us. And so with that, I wanna pray for us. Let's pray. Father God, we come before you today 
And we just thank you that you hear us, that you listen to the things that we say, whether we're happy or sad or frustrated or even mad. You're willing to listen to us. Lord, we're so thankful for that. And we do want to pray for our family and our friends and all the blessings that you provide for us. You have made today a great day, and we want to smile and be glad in it. We love you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. We'll see you next time, guys. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube at iHeartKidsWV. I hope you all had an amazing time this week. Please be sure to join us next week. Bye.